tis the time. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Michael, you are on time. Look at you. Hi. So, I got like stuffs going on and it's going to be great. But I do have a surprise. You see how you see me now? Check out what I got, Mike. I got fancy. Hang on, hang on. You ready, you ready? Hey now, what's up? Look at this beast. I'm legit now. Better? This thing has a, uh, like a cell phone holder thing in the middle of it, and I guess you're supposed to like have it facing you. How somebody can look directly into that light, I have no freaking idea. It's insane. Okie dokes. I tried my hardest to get everything taped on time. We have enough time. So we're going to tape together. You like that light though? boring parts. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you for showering so quickly. It means a lot that you're here. It really does. And I will work on that piece of yours. I just got to figure out what exactly it is that I want to make for you because I want it to be like unbelievable. I got to, I got to outdo that and that's hard to do. No Kristen, no mama. I know, right? You forgot the sauce. The sauce is the most important part, man. That's what makes it like extra good. <laughs> I guess I'll take over here so I can see what you're saying. I wish I could hear you like on a phone call. That would be so much better. I'm such a dork. Most women get excited about chocolates and jewelry, and I'm like, I got a brand new light. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> All right, like I said, I was trying to get the taping done on time. Ran out of time. So we're taping together while 
everybody else is trickling in. So we're doing my first geodesk piece because I have a ton of people asking me how I do what I do. I am not a fan of actual geodes simply because like everybody does them and there's a very fine line between making it look like a geode and making it look like a certain female spot and that, that just scares me because I feel like it could go totally wrong and I'm like, I'm, not, I'm, done. I'm just not going to try it. <laughs> Yes, you can. Ta-da! It's amazing. So Kristen's not here today. She is coming later. I don't know if she's going to make it still to my, you know, where I'm still on. But she went diving today because she's cool like that and she dives. So, you're not going to be here on time. I need like a giant TV installed in my kitchen so that I can see everything you guys say and not have to look down. Alright, so the reason why we're taping this is because when you're doing multiple pieces attached together, you're gonna, if you don't tape them, you're gonna lose so much material that it's just a, a huge waste. <laughs> he came in and he was like, nope, she's live. My boys are here today, but I don't know if they want to say hi. Brady, do you want to say hello? You're always trying to say hi. Come here. Come here, boss. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hello. Say hi, everybody. Jakey Jake. Jake's like, no. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are you wishing me luck? It's a big piece, isn't it? All right. That's Brady. Jake's a little shy. Jake, come here. Doesn't help that Brady takes the attention away from everybody. Hi, Bubba. Alright. My buddies. Take me to the kitchen. I'm starving, by the way. What are you doing with your life right now? So you 
want these totally butted up against each other. That's another reason why you want to tape, because you don't want them to stick together. You want to give whoever's buying the piece the option to put them as far away apart or as close as they want. Go to your corner. I was going to make a geodesk piece of different colors. I was going to do like the purple and the yellow that I'm like madly in love with, but I figured I'm not going to take such risks on a live in case I hate it. Because you guys are nice and you're going to be like, oh no, it's really, it's really good, even if it sucks. So, we're sticking with blue. Everybody loves blue. Where'd you go? This isn't going to be absolutely level because I can't now that it's got tape on it. said like we're playing it on YouTube it's not a big deal all right so you know me spray paint back I got three different kinds of blues and then I came in with like a dark blue and I like to do that like starry look effect thing on it so that if you see it through the let me bring you a little bit lower this is what we're working with And if I do it right, it's straight. got a lot of cool stuff happening. Ooh, that's heavy. 
But yeah, it's, it's a neat piece. So for now, I'm just gonna sit on it. Because if I do ruin it. Oh, I was also gonna show you how I got the look, but with this going on, I can't fit all that in an hour, so. The other thing I wanted to show you stage geode. We're doing it all one shot. And then if it needs touch-ups, I'll go in for a second later. But no, it's, it's all happening today. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was this piece that I made on, on the last lab when we were together. And uh, yeah, it has teeth in it, which is the strangest freaking thing. It caused so much like comments and stuff like that everywhere I put it, which is cool because art shouldn't just make you think it's pretty it should make you feel something it should invoke conversation it should you know and it was great and so even though that every other piece that i've had i've named it after a person i'm calling this one bite me okay there's teeth everywhere that's canine teeth there's a whole mass of teeth right here this is somebody who definitely needs a dentist and some big old lips. You see that? <laughs> There's a full mouth. It's craziness. If I tried to remake that, I would not be able to. So if you guys know the dentist that would love this one as well, hit me up. Okay. Is it just the three of us? Anybody else here that are, that are missing or anything? If you're here, say hello. Also, hit that thumbs up button. Because I'm doing the stuff, guys. I'm doing it. Because on one side, oh, that's not even clear. Anyway, on one side is blue, and on the other side is, where's the other side? What the heck? Is mirror. So that's what makes it super shiny. Once the resin is done and you put them in there, like there's no moving them. 
that's it. You're stuck with that. And if you put it before the resin, then if you just if you don't like what you're making, you can still move it around and stuff till you get that like pretty picture that you're looking for. If that makes sense. Hi, Judy. All right, what are we doing with our lives? I'm thinking, I'm all about like making it, I'm a Libra, so I need everything balanced. <laughs> so, ooh, yeah. I'm okay, gonna go in here. I will, I promise I'll bring you guys in closer. You don't have to go like super mega thick. Just like a little bit is fine. Look at this. Wood chips. So yeah, I make my design with the rocks and then I come in with the lines.
like still pouring. I'm like, stop. Quit touching it. Okay. you guys and then like my head's cut off because it's just weird. I talk to myself so much, it's probably not normal. But I do. Aww, thank you. I'm glad I don't have one of those like annoying voices. I actually have a friend in Chicago that watches me. And always tells me that my voice is like soothing or whatever and uh i'm like sweet so you're sleeping and i'm working cool beans <laughs> what tell me what to do what do i do tell me what to do i'm actually going to bring you to my view of it this is what i have going on right now hi miasa what do I do? Where do I go next? Tell me. Any ideas? Oh, I got me a fancy new uh, tripod too. Cause my other one went. <sighs> On the left, this left, <laughs> within this piece, so like here-ish. Yeah, the who the hell took my is, is a constant. Look, I just had my tape measure. Where is it? And then this needs a little something. Ooh, I can I can come in here. glass. 
So, you ready? Oh, there's my dog. Yay or nay? I kind of like it. I just want it to carry through the entire piece. Bright light, bright light. James would be great right about now. YouTube's such a bully. You know what I don't understand? Can somebody explain this to me? How come all those stupid videos of people like dancing next to their car to friggin' the song Kiki and everything else that's going on, how come they can play all those songs and they go viral and nobody like slaps them on the hand and we slip, we play some good music and we get shut down in literally like two hours? Like, why is that possible for them and not for us? Alrighty. I don't know if that's enough, but that's what we're doing for right now. So resin into hardener, always. It's just better that way. Yeah, I uh, we went live last week, and now you guys can't watch it because um, Kristen wanted to play some music, and she's like, you know, to, to fill in the time when it's like quiet or whatever. Plus, we ended up having so much fun with it. And then I think 67 people saw it, and then after that, it was like shut down. We woke up in the morning. It, we got all these messages. It automatically tagged the songs that we played, like in the thing below the video. It was insane. And I emailed YouTube for an explanation. Like I tried to figure out how to go about it. That I can play it in the future and not get shut down. No response. She emailed them. No response. They just don't give a poop. Yet Facebook is full of viral videos with everybody and their mother's song in the background, so it makes no sense. It's not like we were selling it or anything. This stuff is thick, man. Like, if you've worked with um, regular art coat, art coat by Stone Coat, like, it's nice and, like, slimy. This is, like, thick, thick. like thick it's like honey but thicker get out Terry are you serious also are you an Eagles fan
Don't get it? Doesn't make any sense. You got all these teenagers becoming insta celebrities overnight because they're dancing to some sort of song in the beginning. Like, so if I just wrote on my description, I do not own the rights to the song. Like, would that would that be enough? Would that save it? Is that what it is? Eagles hate, fans hate me. I'm a Packers fan. We don't get along. And the only reason why the relationship between me and Chris works out is because he's a Patriots fan and we never have to play each other. Because otherwise, it'd be war. I'm like a diehard. One second. I'll be right back. Next time I have the boys on, they'll have, Brady has a little uh, Patriots jersey and then Jake has the Green Bay Packer jersey because we have to split the dogs, of course. They can't both, like one team. What's fair is fair. All right, I think we're there. It's clear. So basically you just want to sprinkle, sprinkle. That's all it is. But make sure you get it like good. Cause I've made pieces that I've had to like re-sprinkle sprinkle because they weren't like stuck enough. Like I said, I don't do glitter. I don't add all that stuff. I just stick to glass. I feel it's got its own shine and it's enough. You don't gotta overdo it when you're working with this stuff. Man, the consistency of this is like real. Oh no, I got it on my nail. I got it on my nail. Such a girl. I got it on my cell phone charger the other day and like it wasn't working anymore. a baseball game like ever I heard they're fun live I don't really understand it though we're gonna have to mix more I love how I'm like we as if like you guys are right here and you're gonna mix me a batch <laughs> take longer than an hour and I apologize for those of you that actually have plans on a Saturday night. But you guys asked for it so I'm making the video. You've never been? Cool. Why don't you come on down to Florida? We got a stadium like two hours south and we go together. What do you say? I'm trying to rush, guys. I'm trying to rush. All right, we're mixing more. This is going to take both bottles, probably. <laughs> By the time I'm done. Michael, you find anything good? I'm starving right now.
funny because the hardener in this is a lot yellower than the regular resin. Like it, it literally has a yellow tint to it, which is odd because their stuff's not supposed to yellow. See? It's yellow. Where are you, Miasa? How is it Saturday morning? For You're back in time? Where are you? Oh my god, Michael. Like, send me some. I love meatloaf and I love mashed potatoes. I grew up on a farm, so I'm like a meat and potatoes girl. I laugh my ass off if the next time you send me something, there's food in it. <laughs> I wish we all lived close together and then we can art together. Do you know how much fun that would be? Michael and I were joking the other day that if we lived next to each other, like, you know how you go to your neighbor and you're like, can I borrow a cup of sugar? For us, it would be can I borrow a cup of stone coat. Oh, really? All of them? That would be cool. I would never go to work. But we would have like the most badass company put together between art, between freaking countertops, between woodworking. We'd be millionaires. Just a thought. <laughs> I feel like I'm making scrambled eggs. I hope Kristen does get here on time while we're still live. I don't know if she messaged me because you guys are attached to my phone and I have to shut off my notifications, but I left the door open for her. We go way back way back to six years ago. She is actually nine years younger than me. Uh, we met at the Renaissance Festival because as I said, I am a dork and I do stuff like that. Um, I've known her since she was 16. I bought her her first beer, but don't tell anybody. Um, and she's just the sweetest, kindest, like most genuine person in the entire world. And that girl is my little sister. I love her to death. So it's cool that I got to have her on a... Oh, you are in Australia. So wouldn't it be Sunday morning for you if, if you're in Australia? Or did I misread that? Oh, you did say that. I'm so sorry. I misread it. Yeah, JoJo's in Australia and she watches me at like 8, 8 a.m. I think. It's over there. She had prior uh, stuff to do, so she can't be here today. I want to go to Australia so bad. Beautiful country. All right, I'm growing impatient, so we're just going to go for it. You don't have to like go crazy about getting the edges because when you come in with the the lines from the other side, it's going to it'll put it together. So just worry about the sides. Dum, dum, dum. But yeah, I really do want to look into that whole YouTube thing, read the rules, see what you can and cannot do. And if that's all it takes is me writing, I don't own the rights to this, then I will write it in big old bold letters and make it the title. <laughs> All right, I'm actually curious how much time this is going to take to harden. Thicken it up, thicken it up a bit. 
All right, let's get real. Make me a sign that says I do not, I just got that, that says I do not own the rights to that. Is that, is that what you're saying? I am using the quick coat, but only for the glass. Because I kind of want it to like harden up before I come in with the color and push it because I don't want it. The last time I did this, the clear mixed with my colors and then you can see a border of clear. They didn't like together because that's a term. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that this will harden up by the time I come in with color, it won't look weird. Yeah, you saw that, Michael? That took me a second. I read it and then I was like, wait a minute, I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> We're doing blues, and I got all the blues, and I don't know which blues to use. That rhyme, not on purpose. Okay, so I got like a mixture of everything. I have the bronze pigment powder by Artisu, and I also have the brown metallic by Stone Coat, and I think we're gonna have to pick between the two of them because they're technically the same color. But I do want powder mixed in with the paste because it does cool stuff. So, I don't know if that's clear. What do you, what do you think I should do? Artist who has more sparkle. So it's going to be like glitter heaven. You know how I love my sparkle. And then I'm using <sighs> Tell me if it's clear. It's not even clear. Come on, man. Get with the program. Anyway, it's Bombay inks. I'm using the teal and the aqua. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, like I said, when you mix paste powder and inks, cool stuff happens. No, they're both powders. Both of the both, both of the metallic rounds are powders. So I mean, I could mix them, and that way we don't have to choose one. Okay, I want some green and I want some blue, and some of these blues are green. So turquoise, just resin, the phthalo, I think it's called green, which is a very 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 dark green, but we need contrast. And, ooh, that's too green. Nope. Do you guys say blue sapphire or magic blue? This one or this one? This one is blue sapphire. This one is magic blue for the main blue. Definitely blue diamond because that is my favorite color. Okay, let's get some mixing. Like I said, we're using art resin today. Because I don't have any more. Oh my god, that's so heavy. I weigh like five pounds, so everything's heavy for me. Are you hardener or not resin? We're doing 24 ounces just because it's a very large piece. I cannot wait till this dries and it's like on a wall. It's gonna look sick. Okay. 
I don't need to double blow because there's no spreading. Our resin is good. I love our resin. It's nice, it's clear, it's thin. Yeah, see the difference from that thick stuff I showed you earlier to this? Major difference. Okay, so the trick to this is to carry your lines through so that even when you put it on your wall and there's, I would say, go one to two inches distance between them, it still looks like, you know, a continuous line. I'm so excited! What are you doing with those two gallons of art resin, Terry? You making art that I need to see? Probably. I want to see it. So the only thing we're using our heat gun for today is bubbles. I'm not going to go crazy with the cells and all that because it's not about that. And I did want to show you that I can do more than just selling. <laughs> We go big cups because we have a lot going on. So we can have one, two. Ah, decisions. So the the phthalo green, and then this other blue thing. What do you think? This is a uh, blue diamond. Help me out, help me out. Otherwise, I have way too many colors going on. Yeah, later I'm done in my face, Michael. With your $850 worth of stone coat, I was like, no, I wish I could do that. <laughs> He is very busy. Making stuffs, cool stuffs at that. Yes. 
stuffs. Haha. <laughs> I'm rubbing off on you guys with my uh, Romanian English. Alright. I'm having commitment issues right now with my colors. <laughs> so, you know what? Just because I don't want to choose, I'm going to mix them. See what happens. So that's uh, Brown Metallic Stone Coat and Bronze by Artisu. Ooh, that shimmer though. It's so pretty. Sparkles. Easily distracted by shiny things. Hmm. I guess like any girl. Alright, you guys, you gotta like each other. Whenever you're mixing these powders, do me a favor and don't put them right directly under your nose and breathe it in. It is completely bad for you. As pretty as they look, they're deadly. So try to give it some distance. I did say that last time. I was like, like most women, they're pretty, but so dangerous. That's why you guys love them. That's so cool. It's got that like marbling effect too. Oh yeah. You know you like that. That's pretty. So, for those of you that just started watching not that long ago, we put the stones down, and then we put um, Quick Coat by uh, Stone Coat down, and I'm kind of letting it set a little bit while I'm mixing. So that hopefully, oh yeah, it's getting there. Hopefully whatever I'm putting on top will just slide over and not have that like line of clear like I've had in the past. The dark turquoise for the, what, the um, ink, you mean? Because I can send it to you. For uh, Tracy, let me bring you in right quick. So you see what we is working with. This is where we set our stones down. See what I mean by that clear edge? I don't want that clear edge in my finished product, so I'm kind of hoping it'll dry and then my new stuff can just ride right over the top of it. That's 
pretty. I like that a lot. That thalo blue, I believe it's called. The one that I had such a hard time pronouncing. And then somebody was like, oh, it's Halo with a TH. I was like, sweet. Yeah, I'm thinking optiony. So blues and greens, and I want light stuff, but also dark stuff. I'm, I'm a huge, like I told you, I like everything to like balance each other out. So I'm a huge contrast person. black and then you put it in here and look how nuts is that it's like it's green green crazy sauce man color blue that I find very calming to the eye and I think that's the reason why a lot of people love blue is because when you look at it like you know when you have Christmas lights up like the red and the green have always bothered me I'm not a fan but when you see those neon blues like it's calming maybe it's just me maybe I'm just weird a lot more. I might just do like half of it with you guys and then finish it on my own because I'm not trying to keep you here till tomorrow morning. Even though once Kristen gets here, it's a party. You know she beat my ass in pool. And you know she just learned how to play pool from me and my friends like two weekends ago. And this girl took 80 bucks from me. Damn shame. I was right behind her though. I only have one ball left. You ready for some blue action in your life? Look at this sexiness. What? Oh yeah. All right, last but not least, we are going with turquoise. I think I got a good balance of blue and green. Is this dark? This looks like straight up green though. Well, not with the blue background, but to me, it looks green. Forget the black. Oh, I totally did forget the black and white. Oh well. We're wigging it, man. Living on the wild side right now. Yeah, they do. Dior's got really cool stuff. I never got my order from them of the new 11 colors or whatever they had. It got stuck at a freaking post office that's like towered over for me and then I wasn't able to go get it and then I think they got sent back to them and it's a mess. Whoa. Ooh. Pretty. So pretty. That's nice. Oh, wait, you guys 
that good? How about there? I don't have any clear left, no. So we're winging it. But then again, I wing half of my stuff. People are like, oh my God, how'd you make this? I'm like, I have no idea. I just did. Oh yeah, that's how we like to be. Up close and personal, what's up? <laughs> Actually, let me bring you even closer. So that you see what I'm actually doing. That's that dark green. See, once you put it on canvas, it looks black, but in reality, it's green. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish this whole thing with you guys. It's gonna be boring, but I will start it and then I could always like videotape the rest for whoever has time to watch the boringness. This is a lighter version of that. I cannot believe I forgot the white. I'm gonna have to cut in with the brown just to make up for that. But it'll be okay. There's no rules to this, right? Oh, Terry, you're so sweet. Thank you, love. I'm just cutting in with like a really thin line just to see the difference between what's happening. We do make our own rules. And thank you for learning from me. And it's funny because I'm like completely self-taught. Like I just like bought the stuff one day and I'm like, all right, this cannot be as intimidating as it looks. And then I just went to town. <laughs> Michael still in the house? Or did he pass out from eating yumminess? <clears throat> we should hit it with some heat. Oh, come on, cooperate. What are you doing? Hang on, my heat gun thing is stuck. You know why? Because I came in and I put the stuff on top of the clear and it's actually putting, you can see some of it, it's pushing it down and you can't see it. And that's the whole point. So I'm happy.
Yes, resin is intimidating, especially I'm finding out that like people that start out with acrylic pouring, um, just find resin so intimidating. And I'm not really fully sure why, just because I started straight with resin, but I don't know if it's the mixing, I don't know if it's like the commitment, because with acrylic pours, you can literally just scrape it off and start over. With this, not so much. You gotta admit though, since my very first live, I have improved my camera skills. Yeah, this is going to be a long process. Just tell me when you guys are ready to go and then I'll cut it off. Acrylic pouring is awesome sauce. Like I, I did it like a couple of times I just don't have the mixture right, so I'm not getting like all the cool stuff that I see on the pages um, that I post on. Like they get some cool selling and this and that, and I've got like a blob with two lines. And even at that point, I'm like, yeah, this is so cool. So I'm lame. <laughs> Hi, James. It's okay. You're here. That's all that matters. We are doing a very large piece of which you're just seeing a tiny portion of right now. But I don't think I'm going to finish it today on, on today's live. Too much talking, too little pouring. <laughs> Bam, son. What's up? Look at that. I like this uh, feathering that's happening right here. I hate because, I, like, I see you guys on my tablet, and it's just not as, like, as, like, as poppy as what it looks like live, and that bothers me. So you guys are just going to all have to buy airplane tickets and see this stuff live because it's worth it. I lost track of what I'm using. Ugh. Where's Kristen when I need her? Actually, let's come in with some of this. Well, once you've coated, um, hi, what's up? Once you've coated, oh look, my nail, like, is poking through the glove. Um. That means you use resin enough to know what you're doing with it, and then the color addition is actually like the easy part. So once you've used it for coating, you're like good to go. And don't be scared, because I promise you, once it dries, girl, cover it right up. If you hate it, I mean. Tank. Oh my God, where are you? That's Kristen. Where are you? You're supposed to be on your way over here. So yeah, see, you start off in separate um, areas and then you just kind of work your way towards the middle. And then that's basically what you do for the rest of the thing. And that way it looks like a a clear picture. Don't go crazy and try to get your lines all the way across five canvases because that's just nuts. So focus on one piece at a time and then just kind of try to keep it, you know, as 
proportionate as possible, I guess. Michael, you're gonna make me cry, man. I wanna go skiing. Can I come visit you and we can go skiing? I haven't skied in, I haven't seen snow in 10 years. How did it, ridiculous is that? This is pretty cool so far, right? You guys agree? Again, the colors are not true. Yeah. Um, resin is not cheap and neither are the paste, especially if you're going to invest and get the good ones. Don't get me wrong. I started out using acrylic paint and they work just as well. They just don't sell, um, like sell up as well. But you got to start with acrylic because it's cheaper and because it makes sense until you figure out what you're doing. It already snowed in Canada. Why? It's not even winter. I used to live in Connecticut. I lived in Connecticut for eight years after I came to um, America. And so we got like constant friggin' snow. And then I moved here 10 years ago and haven't seen snow since. And I gotta say, I miss it. I don't miss shoveling it and I don't miss friggin' early mornings trying to go to work and the keyhole in the car is stuck and then it's just shit, and then your morning just starts out shitty. I don't miss that at all. Or shoveling snow, but I do miss skiing. Yes, Tracy, absolutely. 10%. And then once you get comfortable, you can eyeball it. You don't have to stick to the 10%. Just start out with the 10%. So you find your, your consistency that you're happy with. We're almost done with one piece out of five, guys. Woohoo. This should be cool, though. Imagine it on, like, a white wall. That would be phenomenal. So what happened to uh, Kristen? I'm going to kick her butt when I see her. Right after I kiss her. Boom. I wish I had the time to tell you guys why we call her the tank. You kind of had to be there. It was like the funniest thing ever. But now that is her permanent nickname. Cause she's like this itty bitty little thing, but she's dense as hell. Not like stupid dense, but like her body is dense. <laughs> she's a little tank. That pretty much took down a grown ass man. All right, let me bring you guys in close. Because <clears throat> that's not close enough. I just don't like that the colors aren't real. Like, they're not true to... Hang on. Let me fix my thing. How do we feel about that? Other than the fact that I gotta blow some bubbles. I'll put you here for a second. I figure out my next move.
We will do one more and then I'm gonna let you guys go. And the only reason for that is because I'm not gonna have enough color and then it would be more mixing and then it would be in another hour and we're gonna be together till 3 a.m. By the time I finish this, if I don't. <laughs> All right. Next up. You guys want to be all up in here? It's technically the same thing I just did five minutes ago. But yeah, you want stories? I got stories for days. All kinds of stories. Funny stories, crazy stories. All of them. So I got my 10-year... Uh, see? Middle fingers, like, I'm done. I got my 10 year thing at work for working there for 10 years. And uh, the thing that sucks about it is that I've been in aviation ever since I was 18 years old. I've been in manufacturing. It's all I ever did. I didn't ever work at restaurants or anything like that. Nothing against that. I just have never done it. Um, always aviation, always manufacturing. And once I got the job at Sikorsky, like I thought that that's where I was going to retire. It's a great, amazing company. Um, it was owned by UTC at the time when I first started. And it was amazing. And uh, it got bought out, I don't remember how many years ago exactly, and I don't want to say the wrong amount. It got bought out by Lockheed Martin. And shortly after that, they are shutting down our plant where I work in Jupiter, Florida. They are just literally laying everybody off. So when I keep saying on my lives that as of November, it used to be the second, now it's the sixth because they keep changing the dates on us. It was originally like June. Um, what was I gonna say? Every time that I say that, hey, I'm gonna do full arting, whatever, it's because I'm getting laid off. <laughs> And then I'll really have the time to do this. And it's not the way that I wanted to, to go out. But uh, it's life. And maybe it's for a reason. I sure the hell hope so. Because I am scared. But I don't know. I think I'm onto something. And I think it will allow me to have time to, to fully explore what I can do. I'll finally have time to do countertops. I like all the stuff that I want to do that I just never have time for. Especially because I work second shift. So like I don't get home till midnight. Like all the stuff that you guys see me post, I make them in the middle of the night, 4 a.m. when everybody's sleeping. Um. Hi, Wondering Art. Welcome, welcome. Yes, they are separate. Sorry guys, for those of you that have seen it a million times, you're gonna see it again. So we're doing my first geodesk piece live. There are five different pieces. I have them taped up so we don't lose a resin. But this is what we're working with. Um, I'm probably not going to finish today with you guys live, but at least you were part of the beginning. So anyway, so that's my story about work and life and stuff. Uh, thank you, Tracy. It's scary, but sometimes you need that kick in the butt, man, to just get out of your comfort zone and do something else. Do something that you absolutely love, and that's, fingers crossed, that's what I'm hoping for. Thank you, Wondering Art. How are you, babe? It's been a minute. I can bring you back. Do you guys want to come back in so you can see what I'm doing? Because I can bring you back in. I'm done with my story. <laughs> Whoa, too much in. Sorry. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's my story. And hopefully it 
it's great. And hopefully I never have to work for another person again and I can just do me. Oh, that's cool. By the way, her baby is like the cutest thing ever, guys. Wondering Art just had a baby recently and adorbs. Don't worry about my dress, it'll be fine. I have like a million of them. The resin's getting hot, so we're like getting there. I feel it. I feel it. I live in freaking jeans and shirts at work and freaking sneakers. So today I was like, you know what? I want to feel pretty. We're wearing a dress. I'm not wearing an apron, by the way, Michael. Not happy. Actually, I, I'm lying. I got cute ones for when I cook. Because I do cook. So you know what's weird that I'm noticing right now? The Just Resin paste, the, it's not hot. The, um, what do you call it, the Bombay ink? It's super hot. Huh, cause science. So I'm assuming that my little tank is driving cause she never like said anything else after that. Terry, stop it, you're gonna make me blush. Thank you. Oh, that's great. I'm just dribbling all over the place. You know what I can do is I can stop right here. Where's my hand? There's my hand. I can stop right there and then we can pick it up together next week. Do you guys want me to do that so that we can finish it together? Because they're not attached so it doesn't matter. Or do you guys want to see something else next week? Because I do this for you. What you want to do is what we'll do. Talk to me, peeps. Talk to me. Now look at us do this without any white. Who said it wasn't doable? Me, actually. Haha. <laughs> that cover you up. Okay, Michael, we'll hang out. I'll change my PJs and grab some popcorn. Yes, no, I'm, I'm definitely gonna finish what I got in the cups. I just don't wanna leave you guys hanging and then do it. I, I just figured we could finish it together and maybe that time I'll have um, either my mom or Kristen here so that we can tackle multiples at a time. Juno, I knew I took too, too big of a project on. What time does the hockey game start? This is getting hot, not in a good way.
What time is it right now for you, Terry? Thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much. Have a good day, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for checking in. It means a lot. Hit that thumbs up on your way out, though. That would mean even more. We is getting there. What are we going on? Two hours? Hour and a half? You guys are troopers, man. I'm impressed. Oh, it's like early afternoon for you, Terry. I was thinking, like, as a joke, but not a joke, to open up another channel, but, like, with live cooking. You think I can do it? Would you watch? Like, no joke. I can throw down some Romanian food like you have never seen in your life. It's thickening up and it's like globbing more than I want it to. So I think it's a good thing to cut it off right here. Yes to the cooking show? And that's only because you want to see me in that damn apron, isn't it? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, almost done, almost done. Ah, oh, those are too similar, too similar. Back up. All right, last one right here. A little bit of something, something. Bam, son. It's a done deal. Let me bring you in. I lied. Let me pop some bubbles. Resin thickened up so the bubbles are harder to pop. Alright, QA talk time. You and me. Okie dokes. We'll just leave it there for now. Wait, no, I'm lying. I lie so much apparently to you guys. I don't mean it. I was going to show you the stuffs. Oh, thank you, Miasa. That's freaking mega pretty so far, is it not? Does, does it feel like it's carrying through? Which is what I was going for. That'll be great. All right. Just a little lower. Hi, I'm back. I don't know if like this is what I look like on your TV. 
TV, but I'm like fuzzy on my tablet. I don't know why. <sighs> so. Oh my God, Terry, why did you have to bring up poor pizza? They also put ketchup on pizza there. Because they're freaking weirdos. And those are my people. <laughs> on your pizza if you don't want to, Michael. They have plenty of other yummy stuff. Oh, thank you. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we're in this together right now, so we should stick to it together, and then we'll finish it. I have to, like, write down all the colors so that I don't come in with other colors by forgetting. But it's pretty neat. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. How did you know about Romanians in corn anyway, that's such like a random thing to know about Romania. <laughs> so yes, if you're here, you're watching, you like this, thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. Um, if you just stumbled on to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Ariadna, I go by Ari, I run Vibrant Expressions, um, 1209. And when I say 1209, I mean 1209, because then I realized that it could also be the letter. Um, and that's on Facebook, that's also on Instagram. Look me up, check it out, see what I do. Um, I'm, I'm on, trying to be an upcoming artist of sorts. Oh, wondering heart, girl, you won't make me cry, stop it. I hope the girls you know from Romania, Terry, are pretty cool, because otherwise I'll get upset. <laughs> Alright, so yes, like, follow, subscribe, turn on your notifications. I go live on here every single Saturday at 7 p.m. unless I got some stuff going on because, you know, I have a life. But I love you guys and I try to be here all the time. I've, I've come in sick, sniffling, coughing, a hot mess, and I still need some stuff. So I try my hardest to be here for you since you're here for me. Um... I've, I've always had Instagram. I just hate Instagram. Instagram sucks. And yes, they can block me if they want to be bullies like YouTube. The reason why it sucks is because your pictures get cropped into a freaking, like, this big. And you can't see the full picture. Your videos get cropped to, I think it's like 30 seconds or something. And most of my videos that I post on are at least a minute. It's just caca. It's absolute caca, and I do not like it. But yeah, you can find me on Instagram. <laughs> Vibrant Expression 1209. Alright, like, I don't want to let you guys go, but I gotta let you guys go. I gotta go eat something. Wow. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching. You guys are the best. And I promise we'll... It's caca with a C, not a K, but yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll finish this together next weekend. I promise. It's gonna be great, okay? So thank you for watching. Thank you for loving me, because I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All of you guys. Oh, I just want hugs, everybody, hugs. All right, I'll see you next Saturday. Mwah. Bye.